Hey YouTube, this is City Prepping. In this video, we're gonna take a look at gas masks, specific for fire season. I live here in Southern California, and it's apparent we're already going into a very dry summer. If you look at the drought map for May of this year compared to just two years ago, uh, it's a pretty clear indicator of probably what we can expect this summer. Montana's already been dealing with a lot of fires, and so when we begin to prepare for fire season, one of the things that obviously comes up is respirators, making sure that you have the right equipment to protect you, your family. And so what we'll do in this video is we're gonna take a look at the low end half face respirators, and we're gonna go to the more high end full face respirators, and we'll take a look at the different filters and what they can do. So let's jump in. Please consider subscribing to our newsletter by clicking on the link in the description and comment section below. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe and click the like button to help the channel grow. If you're new to this channel, my name is Chris and on this channel we discuss emergency preparedness, AKA prepping. As I mentioned a moment ago, I live in Southern California and fire season just gets longer every year. It starts earlier and ends up ending later in the year. And as such, having the right respirator for myself and my family, it's really important. And I look at respirators really from an investment perspective because I know we're gonna be exposed to a lot of smoke every year. And so for me personally, I've got full face respirators for everybody in our family. I've got high end filters, but there's nothing wrong with these low end options. Again, what the point of this video is not to try to sell you on a particular setup, but really to give you the information to educate you so you can make the best decision for you. So let's go ahead and jump into the different options. During this video, one of the measurements that you'll often hear is microns. A micron is a unit of length that's one millionth of a meter. For those of us here in America, a, micro, or a meter is 3.2 feet. Now to give you kind of a context of the size of that, a width of hair is around 70 microns. And smoke particles are typically around 0.1 to one micron. These filters that we'll discuss are rated to filter down to 0.1 micron. So they'll be able to cover the smoke particles. Now I just wanna put that information out there before we jump in. So let's go ahead and talk about half face respirators. So the first filter that we'll discuss is a ubiquitous N95. We all got familiar with these last year. Now the 95 is a designation for the filtration rate, which is 95%. It's gonna filter down to 95% of whatever you breathe in. And it's important to point out though that these will not filter out carcinogens, chemicals, carbon monoxide. And of course you're gonna be breathing those things in in a fire season depending on your location. Now if you're in the woods and it's just the woods that are burning, it's not really a big issue, but if you're in an urban suburban environment where structures are burning down and the different chemicals are being released, those are issues you wanna consider. Now one of the other things is you'll want to look for a mask that has these two straps. If you pick up a map, or mask that only has the one strap, that's not really gonna qualify as a, a proper seal on those. The other thing that you wanna look for on these is the NIOSH rating. NIOSH is a federal government regulatory agency that oversees the production of these and makes sure that it meets certain qualifications. And so when you go to purchase these, uh, personally, I'm a big fan of 3M. 3M is obviously one of the more uh, popular brand names when it comes to filtration. They've been around for a long time. Uh, they're just highly respected. When COVID hit last year, you remember you couldn't even get these because they went to the first responders. Now, the second one that we'll cover is this half face respirator. Again, this is a 3M. And again, all these items that we're gonna be covering, I will put links in the description section below if you wanna check out any of these. Uh, both of these or all of these right here, I did pick up on Amazon. These have the different filters that you can use. You can you know, thread these on on the side. This one right here is the P100. And again, this is NIOSH rated and it's a 3M filter. Now again, when we get into the 100, the P100, that designation again is referring to the level of filtration. In this case, it's rated at 99.99999, you know, 99% filtration of particulates that may get in when you're breathing these in. So this one's gonna give you a little more, you know, a 5% almost uh, better filtration. Between these two, I personally, uh, you know, prefer this one. You can trade these out, these filters, as you go through them, I believe. They're roughly about $5 for two. You know, you can pick up uh, replacements online. And again, you can just simply thread these off on the side. Now these again are two point securing. You got this on the back of your head and on the back of your neck. And one other thing I will point out is if you're using these half face respirators, make sure you have some type of goggles. There's different types of goggles you can pick up online, but the key is, is to make sure we're not getting smoke in our eyes. Obviously smoke's gonna be an irritant. Uh, this particular mask is designed to actually be used with glasses. And so if you're going the half face respirator direction, 
this is kind of gonna be your setup. Now that we've talked about half face respirators, let's talk about the full face respirators. These different ones I have here in front of you, they are CB iron rated, or you'll often hear it referred to as NBC. NBC stands for nuclear biological chemical. CBRN stands for chemical biological radioactive nuclear. In other words, these can protect you up to a certain level, depending obviously on what kind of filter you have connected with it, which we'll talk about in a second. Now, all these are threaded for 40 millimeter NATO. That is important when you go to look for different filters or rather different masks. You wanna make sure that it's designated the 40 millimeter NATO. The reason being is that the different militaries, ours included around the world, have this uh, same common threading. And so that gives you the option, if you buy one of these masks, you then can go out and choose from so many different filters on the market. You're not just tied to whatever this manufacturer is producing. If there's a filter somewhere else that you like that has different purposes, but it's 40 millimeter, great, it's gonna fit on this. One of the other things you'll notice is that these have two places where you can thread in. You'll notice this one's capped off here on the side, but this one uh, you know, has a filter on the side can stick a second filter and that will allow me to breathe uh, much more easily. If you're down to half, obviously it's gonna, you'll have more resistance when you uh, are actually breathing. Uh, if you've seen the videos of people having to drive through the different fire areas, there's a strong chance uh, you know, that that could happen if, again, you live out here. And so for me, I just wanna make sure that we ha had the highest level of protection. Now these are rated for 20 years if properly stored. And one of the other things you'll notice about these masks uh, is that they do have this five point harness on the back. So you're gonna get a really, really tight fit. When you pull these on, you can adjust in the back, pull it in, and when you go to actually breathe, if you were to stick your hand over one of these open holes and you try to inhale, it, you're not gonna be able to breathe. It is a tight, tight fit. Now, if you do wear glasses like myself, they do have different options that uh, a spectacle kit where you can put your own lens in and then you'll be able to properly see without having to create this gap in the side if you're wearing glasses uh, like me. One of the other things I wanna point out is that if you wear one of these, you have to make sure you shave. If you have any facial hair, you're not gonna get a tight fit. When you go to actually purchase a mask like this, I would advise against going to somewhere like an army surplus store. Those respirators are, they've essentially been expired. That's why you're getting them for a discount because they, they're past their life. The respirator inhalation and exhalation valves, uh, they typically expire, they're out of date. And if I had to bet my life on a respirator that's gonna save myself or a member of my family or protect us from chemicals, uh, I'm not gonna go and cheap on one of those options. So just a side note. Now that we've covered the different types of full face respirators, one of the things that we mentioned, of course, a second ago was the 40 millimeter threading on the side of these. These three filters that I have in front of you are 40 millimeter threaded. This first one that we'll take a look at is the P3R. It's very similar to our P100 that we talked about a second ago. Essentially, it will filter out 99.99999% of smoke particles. This one, again, is more or less a HEPA filter. And if you're concerned about just smoke particles, this is gonna be the option that you wanna go to. And they have a shelf life that properly stored for 20 years. Obviously, I took the ceiling off this one, that the packaging it came in, but when you buy these new, they are packaged up. Now, the step up is the NBC 77 SOF. This one is a CBRN filter, chemical biological radioactive nuclear. Again, if you're concerned, which we mentioned at the beginning of the video, making sure that you don't inhale any kind of chemicals, any kind of carcinogens, this is the option that you wanna step up to. Again, this one will not deal with chemicals, but it will deal with smoke particles. This one's gonna deal with your smoke particles and different chemicals that are gonna be released when different structures burn down. Now, the step up from that is this one right here. This one is the VK450. And the advantage of this one over everything that we've got here is that this one actually has a catalyst built in that can convert carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide. Now, it can only do it for 15 to 20 minutes. So this is one of those kind of filters that if you know you're gonna be in a situation where you're going into a lot of fire and a lot of smoke, this is the one you wanna have. These will not filter out carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide, essentially, when a fire burns a structure and oxygen is deprived, the different items that are still burning will release carbon monoxide. The problem with carbon monoxide is that it will bond to your hemoglobin. hemoglobin is the element in your blood that carries oxygen to your cells so the cells can run their processes and that's how you live. The hemoglobin is tied up with this uh, carbon monoxide 
oxygen is not gonna be able to make it to your cells, and that's why you'll suffocate and essentially die in that situation. Now again, you got 15 to 20 minutes once you pop this seal, once you unscrew the top and you stick it on your mask, now, once that 15 to 20 minutes has expired, it will essentially serve the same purpose as this one that's stepped down to filter out any kind of carcinogens, uh, the CBRN rating. Again, it's just the one step up is you've got this carbon monoxide filter, which is a pretty unique feature. So out of all these different options, I believe this one has a 20 year shelf life, these two, this one's 13.5 years. So again, when you go to shop filters, make sure if you get a 40 millimeter threading on your mask, make sure your filters uh, line up to be the same way. To sum up what happens during a wildfire is basically this. Smoke particles, they're released, and gases are released as well as things obviously burn. If you get caught in an oxygen-deprived area, carbon monoxide can form. The particle max P3 filter that we discussed earlier, it's gonna work to filter out smoke particles. However, it will not filter out the gases that are released when things burn. For that, you're gonna wanna go to a multi-gas filter like the NBC 77 SOF, and that covers me the types of gases, as it is unclear what gases you would be exposed to considering obviously the different variables. If you're looking for added protection from particles, gases, and carbon monoxide, you're gonna to wanna to step up to a filter that can filter out carbon monoxide. And you might wanna consider the VK450 filter. Again, as we pointed out, carbon monoxide is highly toxic. Smoke escapes filters are only rated for 15 minutes of carbon monoxide conversion. One of the things I do want to point out is that none of these masks provide oxygen. When you're in a fire intensive environment, fire will absorb the oxygen in the air. It's going to suck it all out. And none of these filters, none of these masks are going to protect you from that. Now they're going to protect you from smoke particles. As long as there's oxygen, you're, you're going to be all right. But obviously that's why you'll see firemen run into buildings. They're going to have the O2 tank on their back because they're gonna go into an environment without any type of oxygen. I will point out that in the description section below, I'll put links to different resources to check air quality in your area. I'll provide a link to a PDF that gives a lot deeper breakdown of the different types of filters, what they protect against, if you wanna go and do a little more research. Hopefully this provides you enough information to help you understand the different options, what they do, what they protect against, what they don't protect against, and what you should consider when looking at filters for fire season. As always, stay safe out there.